immediate final thoughts? Nothing. In 50 minutes. The day before the race, so this is like my down day where I'm really trying to savor some energy. Um, I had a couple of sessions. This morning started with a nice morning jog and I always do a little bit of activation before. I think the older I get the more I have to work with my body and get it ready for running. So I have my yoga mat and some little like rehab tools with me and I do some exercises and stretches and activation before I start running. I had Kalle with me which is nice with a bit of company and just checking out the venue a little bit, you know, feeling the grass on the run course and seeing the swim start and just getting that little nerve of the races building up. So in about two minutes the day can start. <laughs> That's official start when the coffee is ready. Until then nothing is happening in life in general. Ahead. Keep it short and no intensity. That's pretty much what I get to do anyways. So what Philip said yesterday is to save a bit for the run. It's gonna be a cross-country like style. A cross country run, yeah. And if you smash, your legs are dead. <laughs> this is gonna be really hard. This is heavy. This is heavy, yeah. What do you think of this swim start? Oh, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. It's in the river. Uh, it's clean. There's no waves. There's no tricky part. It's just a long course out. Turn around a few boys and then come back straight along the river river bank. Uh, I'm not sure about currents. Uh, it looks pretty calm. I'm gonna have a quick look at the PTO race to see if there's any drift or anything. It just looks really inviting, really. Swim out. The swim, uh, swim exit is it's a bit of a way into transition that it normally is uh, and we have some funky stairs running down uh, but they're like super well padded so it's gonna be like a bouncy mat to run down there uh, it's gonna have to try to get my breath down um, a few a few heart rates <laughs> and not to stumble down there they said in the briefing like you want to be in the race in the stairs but you can most probably lose it if you go a little bit too hard <laughs> After the run we went down for breakfast and then we had a little bit of downtime before trying to get the bike session done before lunch. Here at the hotel they actually have a Swift room which is pretty cool, like not many hotels have a Swift room. Uh, so I could go up and put the bike on the trainer and get the session done and dusted quite easily. Because most times when you get to a race venue and like today there was a race on at the same time, it's not that easy to go out and find a good time trial road where you can go at 45 k's per hour for five minutes and get a bit of race pace done. What course are you going for? I might stay flat today actually, <laughs> considering it's a TT course tomorrow. So I'm thinking, uh, what is that one called? The desert, desert trip in Autopia. summer having spent time in beautiful summer weather but for tomorrow it's kind of nice to find a bit of the teacher action on the leg and that consistent power that you don't get out on the road and especially not at any race venue with traffic and you don't know where to go and stuff the workout itself was uh, four by five minutes with a little bit of 
just around race pace, so I had quite a wide span to go below race pace to slightly above race pace. And I try to just put them slightly different. So like one of the efforts of be on race pace, one a little bit above, another just underneath. And it feels like it's a little bit of work to do. And it always feels like I want to save my energy. Like I have this inner person inside me, like don't do too much, but still like I have to force myself to do it because, and even during the session, I feel better. And I know tomorrow, like I will feel so much better if I had like warmed the engine a little bit more today. Um, and for me, there's like these two different systems of energy. There's the training energy and like the, the muscular stuff that goes into the actual performance. And that engine needs to burn a little. And most sessions back home when you have brilliant sessions, you actually have trained quite hard the day before. So like we train so much to do an hour bike is not like dangerous because they're going to be tired tomorrow. But then there's the other energy, which is the running around, spending energy, talking to people. And that one I have to be really, really careful with. And I can feel like the closer to the race I get, the more I'm just trying to lock down. And maybe I'm not so nice to the people around me because I'm just like trying to... I don't know, not waste too much energy on like unnecessary stuff, like being nice to people. Um, so trying to stay in the room and spend time being bored is actually one of my goals the day before race day. And today after the bike session and lunch, uh, it was brilliant because we had the Collins Cup on. Uh, so it's just kicking back in the room and being entertained and falling asleep, sorry for the athletes racing, but there was a super nice nap, like with the commentators going on and you can spend 20 minutes just like letting your eyes close and zoom out for a while. So obviously you want elastic race, um, laces for racing because you don't want to tie up your shoes. Uh, the trick is, and what's really easy to do is to tie them too hard because you want to feel it snug and then at race day it's just like really really almost like crushing your foot in the shoe so you want to have like a nice just like a light embrace of the foot but not too much more so what I normally do is I, I do a little knot and then I put them down under but before I do anything more I want to test them so it's going to go for a little run in the corridor of the hotel I'm not actually going to do that. <laughs> Actually, I might have nailed it <laughs> on the first attempt. So I'm gonna keep them there. Uh, I organized all my transition bags, so the only thing left to do now is to go down with the bike and drop it off in transition. It's always a little bit like I'm still used to the Olympic distance transition where bring everything down in the morning and now you need to like put them away in blue bags and red bags and you need to know where they're gonna hang and everything. So I just need a little bit of time in transition to sort that out and know where everything is gonna be at tomorrow morning. And then it's a small swim to get a little bit of feel late the night before the race day, which is kind of nice. And then it's dinner and then it, everything is done and it's feet up, wrapping up and getting ready for snow. And now we're off to uh, bike checking. So bike check-in is done, dinner is done, and now it's time to go to bed. See you in the morning. Because um, that 
that's kind of what you're doing. This is what we're trying to explain to to the to the referees and the organisers is these girls have to abide by the referees and what they're told on the race course because if they don't, then they get penalties.